Hello everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Eden video for you. This one is also on uh, the EOS script, but this video will show you how to use the same script to have wave attacks on a position. So it's uh, using the same uh, system that we used or I explained in the last video, but this one uh, explains how it does the wave attacks which is a little bit different to the normal spawn zones so we'll get straight into it um, we go into armor single player editor um, now I've got a whole bunch of different maps loaded here I've still got my Vietnam units loaded so I'm going to use those um, just because I like them okay I'm using this big desert map simply to show you how um, the spawn the enemy spawns work for wave attacks okay so what I've done is earlier I've saved a mission and I'll quickly go through that with you as well so I've come into the uh, editor I have placed uh, one playable unit okay which is you'll need basically one playable unit and then we go to scenario save as and then you can put this, the name down in here, select the folder that you want and click on save. I've already done that so I'm not going to bother doing that again. Uh, what that will do is it will give you the um, it will give you a folder within your MP missions folder if that's where you've saved it to or go to whatever folder you have saved your mission into. Okay inside the uh, mission folder uh, which you get to by going to this PC documents armor 3 other profiles your playing name MP missions because I save all mine as co-op and then I've put them into a separate folder so I can find them easily and I've saved this mission as desert EOS so let's open that mission folder now when you first save all you'll have is the mission sqm file you can right click go to new create new text document and create a new text document that's named init.sqf init.sqf i've already created it here so i'm not going to recreate it in this init sqf I have the line of code to activate the enemy occupation system script and that is simply open bracket close bracket space exec vm which is e x e c v for victor m for mike and in, in, in inverted commas eos backslash open me dot sqf and then we close it with a semicolon so I've already, I've already got that saved there um, so we don't need to worry about that but you need that in this folder also need to grab the enemy occupation script uh, folder and I explained how to do that and where to put it in the last video on the AOS script in here we've got the uh, f folders core and functions you don't need to look at those what we're interested in is the open me um, I did explain in my last video the unit pools and how to place custom units in there in case you don't want to use the standard vanilla armor three units and let's face it who does uh, so openme.sqf is the one we're going to have a look at now if you recall from the last video we talked about the EOS spawn zones where enemies will spawn in when your troops or your players are within a certain distance of a spawn zone so from that video you should understand what they are and how to use them and you'll see all that's covered in where you've got example call dash EOS so they that's the explanation for all of those things in this video I want to draw your attention to the next one down which is example call dash bastion so the bastion does something a little bit different to the normal spawn zones what this does is the bastion zones will spawn waves of enemy 
that will head to your location. Um, they will basically go towards the marker and you'll need to defend against those waves. Um, and you'll see that it has, just as the normal EOS zones does, it has a list of explanations that are in brackets. So we've got patrol groups, the size of the groups, light armoured vehicles, size of cargo, armoured vehicles, helicopters and size of cargo, faction marker type side height limit and debug which we've all we should all be familiar with from the last video. The next line's a little bit different however. This one says initial pause, number of waves, delay between waves, integrate EOS and show hints. And at the end here you'll see it says bastion spawn rather than EOS spawn. So it does a little bit uh, it works it works quite differently so we need again these lines of code to tell the script which zone we want to use for which resources we want to have spawned so I'm going to use uh, let me have a look here um, yes I might use this line here the reason is I'm having a look at the numbers and they seem to suit what I want to do for this tutorial. So you'll have a look and you've got null equals, then you've got double inverted or correction double uh, square brackets, and then you've got in, um, oh, I'll just undo that, you've got uh, inverted commas and then you have a, a name here which is BAS underscore zone underscore two. That is the name of the marker that you'll need to put down for the script to recognize that marker as spawning these units in waves. Now just as uh, with the EOS zones, all of these numbers in the series of brackets here, they all correlate to these descriptors, descriptors sorry, here. So the first one we're looking at here is uh, uh, which is the 5 comma 2 which is patrol groups and the size of the groups. The next one which is 1 comma 2 is light vehicles and the size of cargo. The next one is 0 which is armoured vehicles. The next one is also 0 which is helicopters and the size of cargo so I don't want to use helicopters. Then you might be familiar with this next line a little bit from our previous video where we've got the zero is the faction, uh, one is the marker type, which means marker one can't be seen by your players, side, east, height limit, true. Now I haven't uh, set the debug, there's no debug in there, but uh, you don't need to put that in, I don't believe, I've never used it before and never had any issues. You don't need to put that in there. Now the the last series here is the firstly the initial pause which I have set here as 20 seconds. The next one is number of waves 6 delay between waves 30 integrate EOS this must be true and show hints I've set as false. Now if I set show hints to true, what it will do is pop up a little message in game saying um, enemy wave incoming uh, in however many seconds or something similar. I think I've used it once so the wording of the actual message might be different. So we, we know we need to put down the marker name of BAS zone 2 or BAS underscore zone underscore 2. You can't have any spaces in there. Alright, so we'll just go back to the editor. You'll see a little bit of blackness for a second as I switch screens. So, um, and we need to ensure as we have placed the EOS folder inside our mission folder. Now here I've placed down a playable unit, as you can see here. I've also placed down an ellipse marker 
Now to get to the markers, you go up to markers, then to areas, then you can select ellipse. And you can simply drop it onto the map or you can left click, hold down and change the size and shape of your ellipse. All right, I don't need that one because I've already placed a uh, ellipse marker here and you'll see I've given it the variable name of baz underscore zone underscore two which correlates to the line of code within the script which tells the script what I want this marker to be used for. Remember also that we need to place down a game logic and to get there we go to systems over to logic entities game logic just drop it anywhere on the map it doesn't matter where you put it and once that is there you need to open that and change the variable name to server for the EOS script to work. What I've also done is I've placed down a um, uh, Zeus module. Now to get to the Zeus module you go to modules all the way to the bottom Zeus and then the game master which is the one we want to use to access Zeus. Now a little trick with Zeus is uh, you can set the owner of Zeus. Now this can be um, a Steam user ID you can put in there hash admin logged or one word and that will any admin logged in will have access to Zeus um, but that can be a little bit flaky at times and stops working so what I do is I put a variable name in there so I've put the variable name of S1 or Sierra 1 and I've given my player here the variable name of S1 so this player being S1 is the owner of this Zeus module here. We need to also uh, select all add-ons including unofficial ones just to make sure that everything that we use is going to work for. Okay another thing um, and by the way the reason I've put Zeus down is so that you'll be able to see the units spawning and running towards the marker for the purposes of the demonstration to show you that this does actually work. Um, a little trick also which will require you to have the modification called Eden Enhanced. I'll put the link in the description. Once you have Eden Enhanced uh, loaded in the editor, if you go up to Attributes and down to General, you'll see an option here which has editable objects in brackets Zeus. If we check that and click OK, any spawned units Zeus will recognize it will show them to you in Zeus and it will enable you the ability to edit them. Okay so uh, to recap we've got our playable unit, um, we have our ellipse zone here Okay, we have our uh, game logic here, and again it doesn't matter where you put it, so I'll just put it here, which is a variable name of server, and I've put a Zeus module down, which I've just explained. So, uh, let's quickly go back and have a look at our script. Alright, so... I'm going to have a look at the line here where it correlates to initial pause number of waves delay between waves. So I'm going to set the initial pause to 10 seconds. I'm going to set the number of waves to 10 and delay between waves at 20 seconds. And I'll save that. Uh, now let's run the mission. I'm just going to move my playable unit slightly out of the zone and I'm going to reduce the size of the zone just a little bit and it'll move the camera to make sure I've got the zone in the spot that uh, is the best for this demonstration and I think it is, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. 
so I know I'll need to run the direction that I'm facing to activate that zone. So let's jump into the mission and see how that works. Alrighty, we're in the mission. Now, just the same as with the EOS zones for normal spawning, if you move out of the zone, the enemy will despawn, they'll disappear. So I know I need to run this way and I will get waves start spawning. Um, I don't know which direction. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. We've got some to the northeast. Uh, scanning, scanning. We have an enemy vehicle to the south southwest. Okay, so our first waves of enemy are now starting to come in. So we'll jump into Zeus. I'll race down here and I'll show you we have actually got waves of enemy that are going to run directly towards that spawn zone and now you remember I said if we make um, Zeus editable objects in the editor settings we can actually now see them as markers in Zeus so as you can see I have a significant number of enemy coming into my location from all directions. You cannot predict the direction, it can be um, any point of the compass. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be in uh, a bit of strife here with all these guys coming in. As soon as they start shooting, um, I'm going to get knocked over really quickly. And that'll be me done. So, I will get the number of waves I have asked for. I will get the delay of waves that I've asked for. Alright, I'm about to have them basically come from every direction, which I already have. Um, now as you can see, um, I'm, I'm in a bit of strife here. Um, now the reason there are so many uh, is because of the settings within the script. Uh, I prefer to throw a frag grenade if that's all the same view. White Foss, that'll do. So you can see that it, uh, it definitely works. Okay. So now we'll go back and I'll show you a couple of other settings that we can use to maybe reduce that a little tiny bit because uh, you don't want a massive AI load in your mission because it'll uh, cause your server to struggle quite badly. So we'll go back and have a look at the script and we'll just tone things down just a fraction. Okay, so we're back in the script and the reason I'm getting so many spawn is you'll recall from the last video we talked about the group sizes and how they are sorted so for example a group size of two actually equals a group of four to eight troops uh, and so on I have group size of five which equals 16 to 20 troops and you'll see that the line that I have used here, the group size I have set is 5. Now that's probably a little too high, so I'm going to set the group size to, let's make it a bit more conservative, to 2. Okay, so 2. Now number of waves, sorry the initial pause is still 10 seconds, the number of waves is 10 delay between waves is 20. Now if you don't kill all those 10 waves you will within 20 seconds get another wave. So what I'm going to do is extend the time or the delay between waves to 40 seconds. I'll save that. So I've reduced the number of patrol groups 
uh, and the delay between them and that will function a little bit differently you'll see there's not quite as many AI spawn in and let's give that a test and see how okay so I'm going to play the scenario in multiplayer I don't have any respawn set so um, once I die that's it it'll be mission over we'll move into our spawn zone again and this time we have a reduced number of troops in each wave and a greater delay between them so remember I set a 10 second delay before the first wave and I'm just scanning scanning for waves nothing sighted aha there we go they're coming in alright so I'll jump into Zeus uh, Zeus will take a little bit to pick them up so that we can see them quite clearly I do hear a vehicle because remember we had light vehicles set at uh, one and cargo of two so I'm going to get one light vehicle and cargo of two is between four and six troops and you can see um, I'm going to be in a bit of strife shortly because these guys are going to be on me quite quickly I don't have any AT weapons so uh, I'm hoping I can take the gunner out there we go here's friends will now dismount of course they will and I've just been killed so that was actually all right I've reduced the number of troops per wave and increased the delay between the waves so I'm going to test this in multiplayer oh actually correction before I do that I need to uh, edit the variable or edit the uh, troop I'm using and go to special states and untick enable damage because if I get killed quickly then it will be a pretty short demonstration so let's go into multiplayer and we're in and moving into that zone now starting a bit of a scan to see if we've got any waves spawn in remember we had a 10 second delay on the spawning of the waves thus far I'm not seeing anything oh uh -huh. there we go we have one light vehicle or light armored vehicle which means there will also be infantry there we go so remember I reduced the number of uh, uh, people in each patrol group so you'll see there's not as many spawning as there was before uh, the ones we had spawned before were a little bit heavy on the AI load and I'm just gonna um, ensure that this guy does not get up on my position with a bit of uh, Zeus fire support although that was wow it was quite slow okay only one sure fire away that's the good old lightning bolt okay so I should have uh, now enemy infantry fairly close on my position I did believe they were fairly close they are starting to scream over the hill now ok 
Okay, and remember they will all run towards the direction of the marker. So this will give you sustained wave attacks until all the numbers specified in the script have been satisfied. see that does definitely work so I'll do a very very quick recap just in case I lost anyone on the way so we've opened the editor we've placed a playable unit we've saved the name of the mission and I've shown you how to go to the folder to find the mission we have a marker there with a variable name that corresponds to the line of code in the script uh, for the bastion spawn uh, zone we have our game logic called server or with a variable name of server um, and I've put a Zeus down there only to show you the waves coming in now over to you'll just get a black screen for a second over to our folder uh, in the mission name we have the mission SQM which you do not need to edit the init SQF with the line exec VM in inverted commas EOS backslash open me dot SQF. We have the EOS folder which contains the two folders or the two files that we edit, which is unit pools, which I did explain in my last video, and the open me. Now for this uh, zone that uh, attracts wave attacks. We're using the bastion call, okay, rather than the call EOS spawn. So it's a different thing. Now, if you want to uh, have your players defend a, a certain point against wave attacks, it's probably a good idea to make this uh, zone here a little bit bigger. The reason being is if you are in this zone and you've got your waves coming in to attack it and you move out of the zone it will give you a message that says uh, zone lost you must recapture it so if you've moved out of there all the enemy that are coming in waves to attack you will despawn uh, and one of the things that's a little bit not so great with the script is if you move back into the zone, they won't respawn. The EOS zones do, but the Bastion zone does not. So it's a good idea to have your troops remain within this area to defend. Simple way of encouraging your guys to remain within is to uh, let's have a look um, uh, place down a uh, um, looking for something yeah no I can't use that one place down something on the map Um, that you can actually use as uh, an area that they're going to be in to defend. All right, so they will, your troops will stay within the vicinity of this um, whilst the enemy are coming in. Um, so that will prevent them pretty much from wandering and straying outside the zone because you really want them to remain within the zone um, uh, you may wonder how I managed to get rid of all that the um, 
actual game markers you just press the, press the backspace key and you can actually see everything um, without all the little markers and, and whatnot. So uh, once again I hope uh, that has been useful um, Corinth I hope that answers your question um, if I have confused anyone or lost anyone along the way um, then uh, let me know via the discord the link will be in the description um, I will also place the link for the Eden enhanced modification within the description which you do need if you want to have uh, Zeus editable units so anything spawned um, Zeus will pick up and you can then see and edit in Zeus uh, as always uh, I hope you've gained something from this um, please give us a sub if you've learnt something um, give us a comment say whether it's helped you or if there's any other questions you have just let me know um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again next time